Sometimes you'll see the full spectrum of price target cuts on display in a single stock that's visible and understandable, and that's what we're going to do tonight. So we're going to talk about sweet green. Yes, sweet green, the fast casual chain of salad restaurants that had the great misfortune of coming public last November, right before the IPO window slammed shut. At least they got it done. Sweet greens plummeted from an intraday high of 56, which I told you not to chase, on its first day of trading, down to 11 and change. You hear that? 56 to 11 and change. And now that it's stuck in the low double digits, the price target cuts, they're, are, they're relentless. They're coming endlessly. I can't blame anyone for turning this uh, against the stock here. Sweet Greens is an unprofitable growth story in an environment where Wall Street has little respect for growth and loathes anything that can't put up positive earnings. I told you to avoid the stock when it came by. I told you again to avoid it in December when it was trading at 33. Nothing that happened in the last six months has made me change my mind. In other words, $11 doesn't fetch a buy from me. But I'm bringing up Sweet Greens because recently the stock got hit with two price target cuts that reflect very different attitudes. Last Wednesday, Andrew Charles from Cowan cut his price target from 28, remember the stock's at 11, from 28 to 22. That's what I call a trim, given that the stock was trading at just 13 at the time. In other words, it's still pretty bullish. Then the very next day, Citigroup's John Tower cut his price target in half from 32 to 16 in a move that feels a lot more realistic to me. Tonight, I want to walk you through these dueling price target cuts because they can teach you a great deal about how the analysts are approaching beaten down growth stocks in this environment. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.